Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be introducing you guys to a great application called AES Crypt. This is a free file encryption software for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Java. Um, obviously, I'm using Windows, so I'll be using the Windows version of this program. It's completely free software, allows you to easily encrypt or decrypt files using your right contacts menu, and it's absolutely a great software. Now, before you go ahead and download it, you want to go to your file explorer, click on computer, go to system properties, and look at 64-bit operating system or 32-bit. Whatever it says there, just memorize it for a couple seconds, then go here and choose wherever it says. So if yours says 64-bit, then click the top one. If yours says 32-bit, then click the bottom one, right here. So click yours, it will download, and you will get a file just like this. So open it up using WinRAR or 7-Zip or any other application that uses this. And then you can go ahead and open the folder. Now you're going to get three different files. You get a Windows installer file, an application, and install notes. Now there's two different install files, the top one and the bottom one. The top one is for people that already have the Microsoft libraries up to date and running. So I would suggest running the top one first. If you get an error, then run the setup. So like I said, run the top one first. If you get an error, it doesn't work, then run the setup one and that will work. You can also go ahead into the install notes and read that there. Because I have my up to date, I can just easily run the top one. So click next a couple times here. And it's successfully installed. So once it's done, you can go ahead to any single file you'd like. So let's say I want to encrypt this file right here, this opera setup file. I can just right click it. And right here I have AES Encrypt. I click that, it will automatically give me an option for a password. So I type in password, so for example I'll type in hello. Obviously the, the higher password you enter in, the longer password, the harder it is to encrypt. Or harder it is to decrypt, sorry. So do that and you'll get a separate file right here. So you can open this file on any computer that has AES Encrypt installed. If you bring this file to a different computer, it will come up as an invalid file. So now, when you extract the file, it ha the file has to be in a separate location than where the original file was, because it can't replace it. So as you see, I moved it away. Now I can open this one up. So it's asking for password. I can type in password. It decrypts it, and boom, Opera Net Step is now back to where it was. Then you can go ahead and delete this one. And there we go. So this is a great way of encrypting files really easily. And there you go. So that's what I got for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave that below. And besides that, happy hacking and have a great day. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.